And we settled here, our branch of the Bruce family, settled here in about 1580. There's been no record at all of the house that we lived in. A house was built here in 1702. And as the house was surrounded with bushes of our local shrub of broom, they called themselves Broom Hawk. And so the name of Broom Hawk uh, became the name of the family home. The kinsman, Sir William Bruce, who was a great architect, had designed an enormous house. And the potential builder, Alexander Bruce, thought it might be wise to show the plan to his wife and his sisters who were going to manage the house after it was built. And they took one horrified look. And his wife pulled her scissors out of her purse and snipped the plan right up the middle and squelched it in together like that and said, that'll be more in keeping with our station. And we are sitting this morning in the new part of the house, which was finished in, in 1796. And the whole ambience of the house was changed from being small family rooms and so on to great big, rather more stately rooms. But uh, it was the trend of the times, and it's never ever ceased to be a truly family house. The original management was to ensure that you had enough uh, food to keep the family going. In the middle of the 18th century, the fifth Earl decided that he really would modernize the, the place where they had lived for so long. What extra there was on Room Hall was a very remarkable limestone bridge. And Charles Lord Elgin thought this would be a great moment that he would convert the lime rock into two things. One would be lime to build, and the other would be to improve the quality of the soil so that much better crops could be grown, particularly barley. Barney was excellent, for, of course, for the production of whiskey. And so he established um, a little community. He didn't have enough people to work it, so he built a village. And as he wanted to use the sea, the river, was we're close by the water here, he built a harbour, so it was very much the way in which the estate had grown up. A marriage between industry, commerce, ocean-going commerce on a tiny piece of ground. 